God knows what kind of maniacal rage seized him then. Paulette was struck at the same time, while she lay unconscious on the floor. He left two footprints on the bare floor in Paulette's blood, prints that match his left foot. He picked up Kimberly and carried her back to Earth. He was still wearing the torn, blood-stained pajama top and 19 threads of her were found in the child bed covers. In order to give the impression that multiple assailants were involved, multiple weapons were necessary. While moving Paulette, his pajama top became soaked with her blood. He left bloody fabric impressions in her blood type on the sheet. Then he went out and found the club again. At 3.40 a.m., he picked up one of the two phones and called for help. Many drops of McDonald's blood were found in the sink. It was nothing, of course, compared to what his family had suffered. 